the winner is... Luchadora Coco! Ten Disney connections you missed. Disney and Pixar are known for hiding some subtle Easter eggs in their movies. Some of these are hard to see, and others will have you wondering how you missed them. Watch until the end to find out which Disney movie Princess Tiana made an appearance in, and how she managed to slip by even the most dedicated fans. Aladdin's Carpet It's a whole new world when we notice this Disney Easter egg. You remember Aladdin's magic carpet, right? Aladdin goes into the Cave of Wonders to fetch the genie's lamp. While he was in there, he discovers tons of treasure and a flying carpet. This rug has a mind of its own. It acts almost like a pet. It also allows Aladdin to take Jasmine on the world's most epic date. So what does Aladdin have to do with the princess and the frog? Nothing. At least we thought that was the case. Aladdin took place a long time ago in a faraway kingdom. The princess and the frog takes place in New Orleans in the 1920s. It's all about a waitress named Tiana who dreams of opening her own restaurant. Prince Naveen is stuck as a frog and he thinks Tiana is a princess. She kisses him, but then she gets turned into a frog as well. Hilarity and adventures ensue. We love the scenes of New Orleans in the Jazz Age. It just felt so real. But in one particular scene, there is something wild. Aladdin's carpet is being aired out from a balcony in New Orleans. How did it get there? It's definitely an antique by then. Do you think the owners know it can fly? Mickey Mouse for Sell There is no Disney character more iconic than Mickey Mouse. He's been the face of Disney for a long time. Everyone's favorite mouse is easy to recognize. He's got big ears, red shorts, and yellow shoes. He was created way back in 1928. Occasionally, Mickey shows up in modern Disney movies, but this appearance was really hard to see. Mickey actually showed up in Frozen. Can you believe it? We bet you totally missed this one. In Frozen, Elsa accidentally reveals her powers during her coronation ceremony. She runs off and unleashes a giant, snowy natural disaster. Anna goes after her sister, but she's completely unprepared. So she stops in at a little store. This is one of the funniest scenes in the whole movie. Oaken, the shop owner, says, Yoo-hoo! He tries to sell her discounted summer stuff. Oaken's store sells a little bit of everything. He even sells a Mickey Mouse toy. It's hard to see because it's behind a bunch of stuff, but there's no doubt about it. The world's most famous mouse is definitely there. We were shocked when we discovered this one. How did Mickey Mouse toys end up in Arendelle? We love that Mickey is still making appearances in Disney's most recent films. Doug meets Remy Who doesn't love a good animal-themed movie? Disney has proven that they don't need human characters to make great films. Some of the best Disney and Pixar films ever have entire casts of talking animals, and some have humans and animals together. That's how it is in both Up and Ratatouille. These two films don't seem to have any connection. Up follows an old man and a young boy who travel by house to Paradise Falls. There they meet an evil explorer who has a pack of talking dogs. Poor Doug is one of these dogs. He just doesn't fit in. He's a lover, not a fighter. He befriends the new humans and gives us one of the sweetest Disney lines ever. I was hiding under your porch because I love you. Oh, Doug! Ratatouille, on the other hand, follows Remy, a culinary genius who happens to be a rat. He befriends a goofy line cook and helps reinvent a classic restaurant in France. But did you know that Doug made an appearance in Ratatouille? When Remy is sneaking through the house, he freezes when he sees a dog's shadow. Doug is a unique looking dog, so that's definitely him. Maybe he was on vacation in France with Carl and Russell. Nestle's great great grandson. <laughs> Incredibles Movie Poster We know that Pixar likes to hint at their upcoming movies in their new releases, and that's exactly what they did in Coco. Coco is a beautiful movie all about the importance of following your heart while respecting the value of family. It followed a young boy named Miguel. Miguel loves music. He teaches himself how to play guitar. But his family totally bans music. His great-grandfather ran out on the family to become a musician, or so they think. Dia de los Muertos is the Mexican holiday where people honor their deceased ancestors. Miguel ends up in the afterlife. He befriends a man who is almost totally forgotten by his family. The only person who remembers him is his daughter. It turns out that he is Miguel's great-grandfather. His daughter is Miguel's grandmother, Coco. Miguel clears his ancestor's name, and he is allowed to pursue his music. You might be wondering how The Incredibles fits into the story. This Easter egg is really subtle. So basically, there is a movie poster for Incredibles 2 hanging on a wall in the afterlife. We guess they have movies there as well. We did not expect to see this at all. Zootopia Movies 
This film is so great. Zootopia is a world full of talking animals. Predators and prey live together in peace, well until Bellwether tries to mess everything up. Judy Hopps is a rabbit who becomes a cop. She faces a lot of discrimination because she is a prey animal. Cops are always tough predators, but she is determined to prove herself. She ends up investigating a case of predators going wild. She works with a low-level criminal named Nick Wilde. One of the people they question is a weasel. He is always up to something illegal. When they find him, he is selling bootleg movies. It's these movies that are huge easter eggs. First we see Pig Hero 6 instead of Big Hero 6. Yep, it's about a giant pig. There's even Wrangled instead of Tangled. It looks like Rapunzel is a horse in this one. And then there is Wreck-It Rhino. This was such a clever way to throw in some Disney easter eggs. Did you notice these the first time you watched Zootopia? <gasps> Sven's unlikely appearance. We just can't get enough of all the modern Disney princesses. They are tough and they don't need men to save them, but they also keep some of the traditions of the earlier princesses alive. Their animal companions are the best. Sven is one of the cutest. His reindeer belongs to Kristoff in Frozen. They are best buddies, but the extremely goofy and heroic Sven also really loves Anna. Reindeer can only live in really cold places. They have thick fur and are made to move around in the snow. So what is Sven doing in the middle of the Pacific Ocean? That's right, Sven shows up in Moana. Maui has the magical ability to turn into any animal he desires. And when he and Moana end up in Tamatoa's lair, he tries to turn into something useful. He goes through a lot of different animals. He starts as a small fish, and then a shark, and then he goes on to become a lizard. The next animal is a reindeer, but not just any reindeer. Sven! It all happened so fast that it was pretty easy to miss. This was such a great shout out to Frozen. Did you notice Sven and Moana? We've got another Big Princess connection coming up, so stay tuned. Magic Kingdom for this next Disney connection, we're heading back in time to Lilo and Stitch. This movie came out almost 20 years ago. Stitch is an alien who has gone rogue. He's wild and temperamental, and he's set to be kidnapped and terminated. He crashes on Earth and ends up in an animal shelter. Lilo is a little girl with a big heart. She lives with her older sister. She is in danger of being taken away from her sister by child services. But Lilo keeps getting in lots of trouble. Her sister takes her to adopt a dog, and she chooses Stitch, who is definitely not a dog. These two bond and learn how to behave. Well, sort of. They teach us that Ohana means family, and family means no one gets left behind. We were surprised to see an Easter egg in Lilo and Stitch, and this connection is very meta. In one scene, Stitch is looking at postcards from around the country. One is for Orlando, Florida, which is where Disney World is located. And on the postcard is a picture of Cinderella's castle. That's the main attraction at Magic Kingdom. This means that Disney World exists in the world of Lilo and Stitch. Do you guys think Lilo and Stitch know that they are Disney characters? Mike's Cameo Mike Wazowski is everyone's favorite green eyeball. Mike is one of the main characters from Monsters, Inc. and Monsters University. He is best friends with Sully. They work together to generate power for their world by scaring children. Sully does the scaring and Mike runs the station. They are the top employees, but children are becoming less and less scared. Boo is one of those kids. Boo ends up in Monstropolis and Sully and Mike save her. Mike and Sully's friendship warmed our hearts. We got to see how they become friends in Monsters University, but that doesn't explain why Mike was in Finding Nemo. This Easter egg is very hidden. It's not in the main part of the movie. It happens in the credits, and most people don't stick around for those. It's pretty far down too, but Mike is shown wearing a snorkel and flippers. He swims right across the screen. We couldn't believe it when we saw it. We went years without knowing about this Easter egg. We never even knew Mike could swim. Maybe Mike and Sully should try scaring that scary little girl who torments Nemo. He's telling the truth. Low battery. Big Hero Bolt. What do Big Hero 6 and Bolt have in common? Well, they definitely both hit us right in the feels. But there is also a Bolt Easter egg hidden in Big Hero 6. Bolt is a 2008 Disney movie. 
was about a dog actor named Bolt. He played a superhero on TV, but this dog actually thinks he is a superhero in real life. When his owner is kidnapped on the show, he thinks it's real. He escapes to look for her. He has to travel across the country to make his way back to his girl. He gets help from Mittens, a feral cat, and Rhino, a hamster in a ball. Officer Esther is one of the animal control officiates. Both Bolt and Esther show up in Big Hero 6. This movie was all about a teenage genius who creates a team of robot superheroes. He becomes close with Baymax, the sweetest robot ever. Baymax teaches Hero to be a better person. These two buddies are totally friendship goals. The Easter egg happens very subtly. On a security guard's desk at Kreetek, we can see two picture frames. Esther is in one of them and Bolt is in the other. This is definitely one of the hardest Easter eggs to spot. Princess Crossover We love thinking about all the princesses who may know each other. There are theories that Rapunzel is related to Elsa and Anna, but we were definitely not expecting this princess crossover. In Frozen, Elsa finally opens Arendelle up to the rest of the world. She invites lots of important people to her coronation. We can see her standing on the balcony looking at the crowds of people coming to the castle. These people are hard to make out, but if you look closely, you'll see a very familiar face. Princess Tiana from The Princess and the Frog is there. She is wearing her signature green dress that looks like a lily pad. Tiana is technically a royal now, although Prince Naveen stays with her in New Orleans. Where is Prince Naveen anyway? That's not him standing next to her. Maybe he's back home running the restaurant. Disney tried to sneak this one past us, but we caught it anyway. Did you catch this Easter egg? We wonder which Easter eggs will be present in the upcoming Frozen movie. Maybe another princess will make an appearance. Which Easter eggs did you know about, and which ones took you by surprise? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to The Things for more videos like this one. We'll see you next time.